Back to HLN News now. There it is, the once beautiful and luxurious Costa Concordia, back floating upright after languishing off the Italian island of Giglio for a year and a half. It took about 15 hours to get the ship upright again. Again, it hit a rock January 2012, began listing 20 minutes later, three hours after that. It's completely on its side. 32 people died in all this. And you look at this ship, the magnitude of it, you can't help thinking of the most, uh, one of the most famous sunken ships. That's the Titanic. How do these two compare? Uh, we've broken it down for you a little bit. There you see the pictures. And, uh, you know, one of the things to note that Costa Concordia, at least, you know, as far as weight, and you see the pictures of the two, twice the size of the Titanic. And then you look at the raw numbers here of how many deaths. You know, Titanic hit an iceberg, over 1,500 deaths. Costa Concordia hits a rock, runs aground, 32 people died. And the question at hand now still, what happened and who's to blame for this catastrophe? Five Costa Concordia crews employees have already been convicted of multiple manslaughter and negligence charges. And what about the guy, the, the man at the helm, the captain here? Uh, you know, quite a difference between the captains. We look again at another comparison, Titanic Costa Concordia, captain of the Titanic, Edward J. Smith. He went down with the ship. The captain of the Costa Concordia, Francesco Cascatino, he left the ship before his passengers were off. And his story is he tripped and fell into a lifeboat and couldn't get back on the ship. But a little bit later, taped conversation was heard in court between Cascatino and uh, the Coast Guard. And they're ordering him to get back on board. He refuses. After that, the press started calling him Captain Coward. Again, under arrest, house arrest, awaiting trial for manslaughter, causing a shipwreck. Again, 32 dead. Jeff Gold is with us. One man... Justice Squad. What about that? Can, can they get him at all for just not refusing to go back on the ship? Well, it, that, abandoning I don't think ship? That, yeah, well, that, that's not manslaughter, which is the main charge here that he has to worry about. And he's offered to plead guilty in exchange for three years in uh, prison, and that hasn't been accepted yet. It's possible that it may. So he's really admitted that he's at fault. Uh, and that's aside from the Arriva Derci when he's leaving the sinking ship. I mean, it looks bad for him, certainly. Yeah, you, you better believe it here. Well, what, I, I know you've done some studying on this. What, what's the timeline here? How long, if and when this would go to court, how long would something like this take? Uh, well, at first, in a few days, uh, the judge is going to decide whether or not uh, uh, he will accept this offered plea agreement that the captain has uh, offered to, uh, for three years. I, I, the bets are that, that they will not and they will have a trial. And then even in Italy, you know, even after they have a trial, they will have sort of a retrial at the appellate level, which is different than in America. Uh, we saw that with Amanda Knox, yeah. where they have a retrial. So this thing will go on for a long time. Use Amanda Knox as a guideline. Got it. All right. Jeff, thanks so much. Coming up, we're going to let you know who 